Hi guys, it's Paul from International Scale Modeler. Um, short video review today of a couple of modeling uh, apps on Android and iPhone. Um, both free, so not going to cost you anything. Uh, I use them quite a lot, well one of them I use all the time, one I've just downloaded. Um, the first one's iModelKit. So basically, I'll zoom in so we can see. Like I say, it's a free app, so obviously there's adverts on it and what have you, but if you really want to, you can pay. I think it's about oh, I can't know, a couple of pounds, what have you, a few dollars to get rid of it, but it makes no difference to me it being there. It's no harm at all. So basically, what you've got, you've got colour charts, uh, paint mixer, uh, scale, so you can work out various scales. Um, if it's you know six foot in real height, what would it be in millimetres of uh, one thirty fifth scale, etc. You can change all that. Little thing for notes, so you could, if you've got a particular paint you want to mix or make a note of a paint you need to get, etc., you can pop it in there. So, quite a handy little app. Um, if we go back to its main use, which is where I use it for mainly, um, there's a lot of different manufacturers. Um, you've got Army, Navy, Aeronautical, FS Standard, so Federal Standard, RLM, uh, Luftwaffe, the RAL Colors, British Standard. Um, down to various manufacturers like Humbrol, I just scroll through slowly, Tamiya Paints, Colour Spray, Vallejo, Vallejo Air, the Panzer Races, Revel, uh, Mr. Hobby, Life Colour, you name it. Most of them seem to be on there. The new uh, Talera Acrylic Paints, which I believe are Vallejo's, uh, Testers, Polyscale, right down to more unusual ones like Acan, um, something I'm looking to try out in the future, a lot of the Russian jet colours and what have you. Alkalads, uh, Velo Gain Colours, Citadels, right down to Oil Paints, uh, Windsor Newton, Pigments, the Tamiya Weathering Set, Velo Pigments, so real good cover of different paints. So, what you can basically do, if you're doing, say, an Airfix kit and it's calling out for Humbrol Colours, their own, uh, if we pick a colour, I'll go for something a bit generic, we'll go for khaki, there we go. If it calls up a Humbrol 26 and you haven't got Humbrol 26, click on that and it brings out all the uh, various manufacturers, their closest paint code to it. So, as you see, Khaki 26, the closest to that, if I look, is probably either the Revel or the Guns, uh, H81 or Revel 86. Um, so, you can get your various paint matches on there um, if you don't use that specific brand. Um, some of them, they're not exactly a match, like Tamiya, the Valet and what have you, but it gives you their roughest, closest one to it. The other thing you can do, you can click on the actual paint, you get a full colour swatch, I suppose you could call it. So, you know, you can physically oh, grab something, grab a bottle, um, pop it next to you, think, yeah, that's very similar, what have you. Um, and if you go back, you can do the same on the other colours as well, so you can click on the uh, Mr. Hobby and get the full colour screen of that as well. So, very handy little thing to have. I use it all the time for various kits in different um, colours and what have you. Uh, the other useful thing, using these particular colours, the FS Colours RLM RAL, you can go onto these. These are the actual RLM colours, so um, Reich or Luftwaffe Ministry, I think it stands for roughly if I remember right. Um, you can go on, you can pick RLM65, which is quite a common colour on ME109s, etc. That's the actual colour that it's saying it is. And these are all the, sorry I've lost it now, these are all the basic matches to it. Um, so you can see the difference there in a lot of them. Um, closest to me there, probably going to be... The Acan and the Vallejo, to be honest, Vallejo model colour. It's a shame the extra acrylics aren't on here because they are very, very good matches. Um, they're my most commonly used RLM colours. Um, I might actually contact this company and tell them to add them because they do cover a lot of the real colours really well. In fact, if I grab RLM 65, which is there, pop that down and set me very quickly, open the bottle. There we go, it looks, you know, it's nearly there. Obviously, once the paint dries, it does change colour. Um, to me, they are the most accurate colours. Um, 
So I might email the company that does this app and just mention extra acrylics to them because I think they need adding to it um, to give people more options. Uh, again, so yeah, you can go through, pick all your different colours, um, shades, and what have you, and just see. You know, oh, I need all M81. I've only got for layer wear. How close is the match? And looking at that, it's nowhere near it at all to that one. Absolutely nowhere near it. Uh, the model colour again, nowhere near it. So nobody there is doing a specific match for RLM81. If I grab RLM81 out of the extra acrylics, we look at the swatch on the top compared to that. They are very, you know, very similar. So they really are missing out on having the extra acrylics. So I think I will contact them and mention them to them. Um, so yeah, you got all the different colours in my view. Rail British Standard. Uh, all the different paint manufacturers, if we go down to the pigments at the bottom, so we'll go to the MIG pigments first. So there's all the different MIG colours they do. So you click on, you get a full size picture of it. Again, there's no comparison there because there's no real comparison in the um, pigments themselves. Uh, the other thing you do, paint mixer, I believe, I've never tried it, but you can click on the paint you want and then use the paint mixer to get a rough guide to it. I haven't used it yet, so I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I just used, I primarily use this app just for the paint codes to get different manufacturers. But I think if you dig a bit deeper into it, you can um, start to figure out how many parts of paint you need for a particular um, shade of colour and what have you. Uh, but I've never used it yet, so I'm not going to lie to you. As you can see, you've got red, green, blue at the top. Um, so it gives you all these specific ratios and what have you. I think you can store it as well in the notes for future reference, but it's something I haven't used. Um, I've never had the need to, to be honest. Um, very rarely mixed paint. As a few of you have probably seen, I've got coral oil as it is, so I don't really need to most of the time. Scale computation. So again, like I said before, you can pick a scale. If you want it in 1-1, one, one, and if we do 1, you see you pick up a list. If we do 172, and if we do... We'll do a height of 6, and then we'll change our unit to feet. So 6 foot, 1 to 1, and 1 to scale will be 24 millimetres high, so an inch. I'm not sure how accurate that is, um, but gives you the idea of what you can use it for. So you can do all different scales. Um, click on it again. 132, 148, right down to train scale, Z gauge, N gauge, right down to 1350th as well for ships and what have you. So quite a handy little thing again. Again, something I don't use very often. Uh, I can probably count on one finger how many times I've used it. Um, but handy to have if you ever need it. I actually use a scale ruler, um, which is your normal metal type ruler, but works in a similar way. It has all different scales. Uh, and we'll take it down to what you actually use it for. So... Another way to do it, there you go, there's instructions for scale computation, so you can have a read through, figure out how to do it properly, and what have you, but not something I've used massively, but the way to go. There you go, there's a pen code I've stored in the past, so except one flat black, all the way through. Like I say, it, it's a free, uh, oh, I clicked on the link, it's a free um, app, it's just you've got those links at the top, and for me, I'm forever clicking them, but I'm not going to pay for something that's just as good free, just with an advert to be honest, so worth checking out, we haven't seen it yet, um, definitely comes in very handy for me, you might not always get an exact paint match, but um, it'll give you a rough idea of what you need, handy having that colour swatch as well I think, that you can physically you know, try paint next to, if you're mixing it yourself to try and get the colour, you've got a real good reference then of what you need, um, sorry about the email coming through, so the other one, and I was speaking to Lee this morning on the phone, I don't think it's this particular one he was talking about, but it's very similar. It's basically just a bigger version of the scale measure we were just using then on the Iron Model Kit one. So, Model Scenics, um, these are more um, model train sceneries. So, you know, if you're doing a layout, you've got trees and what have you, but it can be used any way you want because you can do the custom scale, um, pop in the scale you want. So, we'll do one, 172 again. And let's see if this brings out that 2.25, so inch, we'll do millimetres, 
Bring up, let's do millimeters, and we'll do six to 25.4. So again, yeah, just under an inch, like I said before. So you can then. Oh, that's a shame. I was hoping if you put the one in, you could go across them all, but you can't. There are several different versions of this online. Some you've got to pay for, some are free. Uh, I just literally downloaded this one to show you. But to be honest, if I was going to use one, I'd use the one on iModel Kit because I've used it and it works at the end of the day. Um, but there's plenty out there to choose from. They all do different things. Um, there's not many actual modeling apps out there that I know of. There's I've seen about three or four of this type, the scale ones, um, but I find the Iron Model Kit one probably the best one of them all. So, like I say, if you haven't used it, certainly give it a whirl. Um, like I say, it's free, so no harm in trying it. And you never know, you might find it handy to use at the end of the day. So, thanks for watching. Uh, big shout out to everyone who's mentioned us on their uh, channels, videos, and what have you. Really appreciated it. Um, it's got IMS, uh, ISM off to a, a flying start. Um, fantastic. We really can't thank you enough. Um, great to have some backing from emails.co.uk as well um, for our monthly prize draw. Keep a good work on the forum. Keep posting, guys. We and Leo are unbelievably happy at how well it's doing. Um, it's all down to you guys posting. So thank you very much. Um, keep up good work, and I'll see you on the forum. So thanks for watching. Pull it into some scale modeler, uh, and I'll catch you next time.